Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today. Yesterday, we focused on Pilate and his role in the death of Jesus. And today, we'll be looking at the Roman soldiers and their treatment of Jesus. The Bible passage is also found in Mark 15, verses 15 to 20. It is so painful to read what the soldiers did to Jesus. Romans were known for their cruelty, and their pastimes often revolved around brutal violence. The famous Colosseum in Rome is a testament to this kind of entertainment. So this kind of abuse towards Jesus was nothing to the Roman soldiers. The crown of thorns they made for Jesus was based on a victor's crown. Unfortunately, the soldiers used these flexible branches that had numerous sharp thorns, inflicting even more physical pain on Jesus. But the crowns were usually made out of garland of leaves or flowers, and these crowns were typically awarded to the winners in athletic contests, as well as to the victors in war. The Roman soldiers had no idea how appropriate the victor's crown was for Jesus because he was literally going to triumph over sin, over death, over principalities and powers, and win the greatest battle of the universe, the battle between good and evil. In the Desire of Ages, we read the following. Pilate, Herod, and Roman soldiers were comparatively ignorant of Jesus. They thought to please the priests and rulers by abusing him. They had not the light which the Jewish nation had so abundantly received. Had the light been given to the soldiers, they would not have treated Christ as cruelly as they did. Our Bible study guide poses an interesting question at the end. These men had no idea what they were doing. Why, though, will their ignorance not excuse them on Judgment Day? Is ignorance an excuse to justify sin? Well, the Bible often talks about God not wanting people to stay in ignorance. So initially, the problem is not the fact that you were doing something wrong unknowingly, but that when you have the opportunity for light to come into your life, or you gain knowledge about something spiritual, do you change? Or do you willingly then choose to stay as if you didn't have the newfound light? We do not know what happened to the soldiers who mocked and tortured Jesus. But I pray that it wasn't just the centurion standing by the cross, confessing that Jesus was the Son of God, but that many more soldiers got the chance to repent and change because God is not willing that any should perish. And with that thought, we come to the end of our nugget. I'll see you tomorrow.